Oh, it's time, dude! He said, okay, Yuji! Damn! He said, nah, you two take care of that one. I got this one, dude. He's so fucking dope. That's the end of the episode, though, right? Fuck! God damn it, dude. That was such a dope-ass shot, dude. It's okay. This was a setup. This was a setup to this arc, but still. Why is it so dope? Why does JJK Fridays only last for so for like a couple of minutes, bro? What's good, everybody? Hope y'all doing well. Happy Jujutsu Kaisen Day, like always, man. Your boy is in here, and I'm hyped, man, because we are starting the new arc today, I believe. We just came off that exchange event arc. The last episode was that cool-ass baseball episode. Super funny. I just love when Jujutsu Kaisen tackles comedy and, like, those character interactions. Like, they always hit, man. Like, that's why I feel like I love the last arc so much, because it was just full of those funny character interactions. It's also, like, those cool-ass fights, bro. Like, Mappa... They just keep like like one upping themselves with like every episode of JJK, I believe. Like they're so consistent with this anime, and that's just one thing. Like I gotta give credit to JJK for just being so consistent with their fights, their animations, just everything right now. Like JJK, I believe is still like one of my favorite animes to come out recently. Like I've been absolutely loving the hell out of it. Like it always just grabs my attention. It just oh, it, it always wants me wanting more basically you know so like ah, god damn like i can just i can praise it all day by the way we only have three more episodes left of jjk we're on episode 22 right now i believe there's only 25 episodes in this season and which is kind of unfortunate but i do believe that like jjk it's gr it's grown in popularity like exponentially like uh, on the, with the time that the anime has been airing and also the manga i believe is like super popular or it's getting super popular i believe and like I, I don't think it's gonna be that long until we get a season two guys and by the way people say season two is gonna be dope as hell whatever you know ghetto and all, all them you know mahito got in store for the planet shibuya they said that that shibuya arc that's about to go off so i'm really excited to see the future of jjk and i'm also excited to see this new arc we're on and you know what they're gonna you know i guess what entails for us in these next coming episodes so yeah guys um i'm hyped let's just get into this make sure to subscribe guys and hit that bell super easy takes like one second of course you guys can always change your mind later also make sure to click that like button it really helps the board a lot but nonetheless let's get it oh this dude's done this dude's dead bro lights flickering and everything he's all alone oh curse about to eat his ass right now someone's spying on him too oh yeah that's ggs bro it's, it's game over for you well starting the episode with death that's always a good sign in Jujutsu kaisen man starting the episode off with someone getting eviscerated by a curse i know we saw in the preview this a lot of scenes with megami so i wonder if megami is gonna be like a really core part in this arc because if so dude bro i'm hyped as hell because megami is one of my favorite characters in the show so far bro like he's just such He's just such a cool ass dude, man. Like, I, I can't. Like, he just, so, he's so cool. I really like his personality a lot, too. It's like, I don't know. Really intriguing. But all right, let's get into this. Damn, they were stabbed to death. Sheesh. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. They filling in the crew right now. I got you. Origin of Blind Obedience. Okay, interesting title. Okay, so the cursed spirit was like fucking around with the doors before uh, it, killed, it killed all of them. Goddamn, Nobra always gassing herself up. She gets like one thing right and just like, yo, it's it's too late, bro. She's gonna be gassing herself up all day. She looks cool. I like her. I like her design. Like that blonde hair is really dope. Like, dude, Jujutsu Kaisen, dude. Like, ugh, the character designs are so dope, man. You know, all of them. Damn, we're really on our murder mystery type B right now. Nobra, what, what's she about to do, huh? She about to go mess with him? What the? <laughs> Nobra, what? <laughs> She's like, yeah, let's go beat, let's go beat them up, bro. They're punks, obviously, you know. Let's just go beat their ass. Okay, they showing respect. Hold up. Oh my god, dude. Oh shit, Megumi. <laughs> Yo, they're like, wait, Megumi. Oh, that man don't want to talk, huh? Oh, he went here for middle school. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Like they were kind of scared of that man. Oh, okay. That man Megumi was being up gang members in middle school. I mean, honestly, I, I can see it. I can see it definitely. Goddamn. They really gotta tease my man Megumi like this, dude. He just trying to live life. Dog, I said this before, but like, yo, whenever the trio is on the job, dude, whenever they're out doing their own thing, dude, the character interactions are top notch, bro. Yo, this girl, Nobra, really just wanted to smoke. Like, she just saw two, you know, the two, two, two guys just like, you know, he was like, he was playing with a cigarette a little. He's like, hey guys, let's go, let's go beat their ass real quick, you know, teach them a lesson. Like, they weren't even doing shit. Like, they were just fucking around. And then Nobra's like, yeah, let's go beat, let's go beat the fuck out of him. And then, yo, so Megumi 
went here. So that man Megumi, he was kind of infamous, I guess, back in the day, dude. In middle school, he was beating up gang members and stuff like that. They kind of, oh, I wouldn't say they respect him more than maybe in a way, but they kind of fear him more like that. So uh, that's kind of interesting, dude. So, okay. So Megumi, okay, okay. Hopefully, maybe we get into Megumi's backstory a little bit because we we do know a little bit about him. The, there's, I still want to see what, what that power or Megumi was going to do right, when, when he was fighting Tsukuna. I'm really curious. Dude. There's a lot of stuff about Megumi that we don't know. There's actually a lot of stuff about all the characters that, you know, are still, you know, that we're still in the dark with. So I'm just curious to see, you know, exactly their development in the future. But all right, let's just continue, guys. Dog, lay off my man. <laughs> they, keep, they keep roasting him, dude. They keep teasing him. Oh, hell no, dude. Bungie jumping off that, dude? Can't do it, bro. I hate heights. Could not do that shit. So far, the, uh, the mood here is very creepy, like very eerie, you know? Like kind of like, it's giving me kind of like a horror type of vibe. Oh, you got a sister? Oh, sh oh shit, okay. That's what I'm saying, yo, no one's right. Like, you tell us too little about yourself, you know? I mean, it's fine, you don't gotta open up, Megumi, you know, it's all cool, but, you know, I, I like to know a little bit about you. Okay, so we got a sister, Sukumi, Sumiki. That man, Ghetto and Maito plotting right now. I'm really curious about my boy Ghetto right here. I really want to see him in action, see what's in store. Mahito? God damn, he fucking, like, hung him up like Jesus on the cross. Uh, Mahito? Why is you always doing this gross shit, man? I mean, you cool and all, but god damn. Uh, made his eyes bleed? Yikes, dude. Bro, Mahito, man, we gotta chill, dude. Like, this dude is always on some other shit. Bro, I know you got an expressive personality, but goddamn, that shit is just gross. Yeah, like I was saying before, I really am curious about uh, my boy Ghetto. I, wanna, I really want to see him do some stuff because he seems like a, I don't know, he seems like a really interesting character. Like, he hasn't really, he's kind of just been in the shadows and just like, you know, observing shit okay so he turned him into uh okay so he turned him into a goddamn curse damn death rate at a hundred percent sheesh we gotta stop that fast then oh wow we already actually tried jumping jumping off the the cliff no bro how did you already forget about this man goddamn mm, yeah yeah she's like yeah she's like mega me yeah yeah keep quiet keep quiet bro oh she got those eyes she about to have a mental breakdown real quick when I come home. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we got to dip then. Anything with doors right now in this town or in, in this area, bro, we can't have that. Yo, we got to go over there and figure that shit out. This girl is trying so hard to keep this shit on the wraps right now, dude. Oh, his sister. Okay. His sister was with them when they did the test of courage? This man, Megumi, here's one thing I'm really starting to notice right now. Whenever they mention his sister... Megumi, even if he's not showing any emotion, it kind of like, it kind of like zooms in on his face. Like, I don't know, like I'm picking up these clues that like this dude is kind of like he's low key getting kind of uncomfortable or triggered in some way whenever they mention his sister. Like when the dude asked him like, oh yeah, how's Sumiki going? He was like, fine. I like, I don't know. Like, it, like, I know, I know that's usually Megumi's personality, but like something's gnawing at me right now, dude. Obviously, so his sister is involved some way with this test of courage with this girl. So he's like, yo, okay, I guess I'll go ask her. Uh, I don't know. I feel like something's really bothering Megami a lot. Maybe he doesn't have a close relationship or close ties to his family like that. Or I don't really know, dude. Uh, but yeah, uh, Megami, I'm on to you, bro. I'm on to you, man. I don't know. He's bothering me. My, what's, what's wrong, brother? What's wrong? You good, my dude? Oh man, my man, no, no, never mind, dude. My man making me broken. Yeah, no, nah, never mind, dude. Yeah, you worried about his sister. I got you. We got this. Come on. This dude is sweating bullets. Megumi, where are we going? Stepping away where? You got a call? Oh, I'm worried about my dude, dude. Nothing better happen to him. That's all I'm saying. Oh, damn, he called a guard right now. He wants to, he wants someone to guard uh, her. Damn, only a second grade? EGG, come on, brother. You gotta help us out a little bit more than that. Megami, tell me you're not gonna go by yourself with this, right? Oh, damn. Oh, Megami, I have a bad feeling about this. Megami is really good at hiding his emotions, dude. Nah, bro, you can't go by yourself. I am afraid. This dude, Megami, is really about to go tackle this by himself right now. I mean, Megami, you capable and everything. I get that, but you know. Close quarters combat. We've experienced this before in the past that we're not the strongest. This OSC that's playing in the background, by the way, is going off. Jesus. Oh, it's like, okay, okay. It's like the incomplete domain when we went to go fight the curse womb. Hey, 
Hey, the crew is here. Let's go. Nah, we ain't leaving your ass. We ain't leaving your ass here. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, no, bro. UG, true friendship right there. Megami, that's what I'm saying, bro. Bro, yes, friendship. Tomodachi. But brother, we've been through a lot already. Come on, man. You know, you can you can rely on us a little bit. Jimiki is still better at him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wait, we've seen we, oh we've seen this before. Okay, so that's that's that was his sister. We've seen this before in flashbacks with Megami before in the past, like when he was fighting Sukuna and whatnot. But that's what I'm saying, dude. Megami, come on, bro. You don't gotta reveal your whole everything to us, but you know, give us a little something to go off of, so you know, so you know we can we can help out. Like, damn, crazy important meeting in sorcery, and we crossed into the afterlife. No regrets. Oh, okay, okay. Them, them curses are here. This is the incomplete domain, though, right? All right, it's time. Get to work, then. Hey, yo. Oh, that's the curse that Ma... Okay, okay, okay. That's the one that Mahito made. Wait, that one can talk pretty well. Oh, it's time, dude. He said, okay, Yuji. Damn, he said, nah, you two take care of that one. I got this one, dude. He's so fucking dope. That's the end of the episode, though, right? Fuck, god damn it, dude. That was such a dope-ass shot, dude. It's okay. This was a setup. This was a setup to this arc, but still. Why is it so dope? Why does JJK Fridays only last for so for like a couple of minutes, bro? That shit was so clean. Oh my god, that shit was so dope. Fuck. I gotta wait another week now. God damn it, dude. Okay, maybe I lied, guys. Maybe the wait for season two is actually gonna be a little bit more tough than I thought, dude. Cause dog, every time I see, I mean this ED, I love it to death. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. But god damn, it kinda kills me inside a little bit, because I gotta wait some more. But I really enjoyed that, dude. Yo, I, I don't know what that was, dude. Like, I really enjoyed that, like... I don't know. Like, Megumi, I feel like... Come on, dude. You know, you can open up to us a little bit more. You don't gotta spill all your deepest secrets to us, but, you know... You know, you, you gotta give us a little bit to go off of so we can help you out, so we can understand exactly what the problem here is, you know? And then... I don't know. That man, Yuji, he's on demon time right now. He really said, All right, you guys deal with that one. I got this one and oh my god that shot is so dope bro thumbnail material by the way right there I really enjoyed that dude super super dope obviously next episode is where like the real shit's gonna start where we're, like, we're actually gonna be fighting and I wonder if this curse spirit that Mahito made is even that tough in the beginning I don't know he kind of looks like fodder to me but I mean I guess you know, I don't know what why is this J Jujutsu scroll Loki like kind of sad or like, not sad, I guess. It's kind of just sentimental in a way. Bro, that's making me hungry now, dude. Jesus. Megumi, come on, smile a little bit, man. Come on, dude. Why are they really on the Chef Ramsay right now? They they judging that food like no tomorrow. Okay. The preview. Gojo. Okay, Nobra again. Sweeped up again. Megumi. Wait. Oh, there's a part two. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wasn't that the curse? The special grade, right? No, no, wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go, 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 okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Dog! Isn't that, well, I assume there's multiple curse, well, like, I assume there's a multiple ones like that, but that one looks just like the curse womb, like the special grade that we fought back in the day. Or like, in like episode, what, like four or something like that, four or five? Damn, Megumi, okay, I mean, Megumi, he looked bloody, so it looked like he'd been fighting, dude. Nobra again, sweeped up Gojo. I don't know what that man has to do with it. Probably a little flashback of him just looking sexy, but sheesh. Okay, okay, I'm liking this right now. This arc, okay, so I was right that this arc is kind of focusing a little bit more on Megumi right now. You know, we got a little bit more insight with his sister, Sumiki. Apparently she's bedridden. I was kind of theorizing that she was dead. But uh, she's not dead. She's just bedridden right now, which is which is good. You know, we're still taking care of her and whatnot. You know, uh, Megami had to call Bijichi, that boy right there. He's like, yo, we need a guard. He's like, ah, I can't really do that. We only got second grades right now. We're like, fuck. So, hey, it, it's it's clear to, it's clear as day that Megami cares about his sister a lot. Like, a lot, dude. That, you know, he gets stressed out whenever anything involving her, you know, you know whenever there's a situation where she is possibly in danger, is it rises up that man is is w willing to do whatever it takes to protect his family like that's why i like megami like like his character like even though he doesn't really show a lot or like express himself a lot <clears throat> it's really clear that he cares about his friends and his family and his loved ones a lot dude and i feel like i can relate to that in a little bit you know 
but yeah megami really great character i'm really enjoying i'm really curious to see his development going forward in the future but yeah guys i really enjoyed this episode make sure to leave it down below in the comments what you guys thought of it man i feel like the next level episodes right now are gonna go off so apparently this is a multiple parter so the next one is origin of obedience part two which is dope but uh yeah guys uh make sure to subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell super easy takes like one second of course you guys can always change your mind later also click that like button before you guys head out it really helps the boy out a lot but nonetheless it's been your boy ivory and i'm out guys peace